You don't need some fancy schmancy animated text to make your video look cool and professional. Text is meant to be read, not to overwhelm people. That's why we're focusing on clean animated text using GeoNodes in Blender. Sure, you can animate text in other apps, but let's be honest, it's not the fastest way. So let's keep it simple, effective, and straight to the point. So what we're going to do first is set the text position. So let's add a few nodes. Set position, mix, and math node. Set the math to multiply and put negative one here. Plug an empty group input into the factor socket and these like that. Now connect the geometry with the set position node. Now when we drag the slider, we move our text diagonally. And by adjusting the second value, we get more or less of this movement. Of course, we don't want the text to move like that, so we need to limit the axis. The best way to do that is to multiply the mix node output. By putting one only on the second field, we are limiting the movement only to the y-axis, which is vertical in our case. But we probably also want an option to move it horizontally and easily switch between these modes. So let's add a menu switch node, change the type to vector, and set the values like that. Now, let's rename them to get this a bit more organized. Now just connect the result to the multiply node and plug the group input into the menu. Okay, so now we can set the axis from the modifiers tab and by adjusting the offset value to negative, we flip the animation. Now, we want to add some color. Let's add a set material node and two store named attributes nodes. The first one will control the opacity and the second one, the color. Let's name the attributes properly and change the second node's type to color. Now we just need to plug the offset value into the controller attribute and a new socket to the color. Add a new material now, rename it to anything, and copy the name, then paste it here. Now, let's work on the material itself. We need three nodes for now. Mix shader, transparency, and emission. By dragging this slider, we control the opacity, and guess what? We can use our controller attribute here. And the same for color. Let's preview our animation. Yeah, pretty cool. But let's get back to the material. We can adjust the speed or the way the opacity changes by using a float curve node. By changing the curve shape, we get different results. We could use geometry for the text itself, but this way we have much more flexibility. We can change the font, alignment, and other things so easily. The last thing I would like to show is this gradient effect I usually have in my animations. This just adds some life to the text. I like it at least. We're gonna need three store named attribute nodes. The first one will allow us to change the sub color. The second one, if we even want to have a gradient. And the third one, the gradient offset which will allow us to actually animate this. And as previously, we go to the shader editor and add some nodes. I am going to use the wave texture. And if we preview this, we will see this repeating pattern, but let's set the scale to a much lower number to get a gradient. By controlling this phase offset, we adjust the gradient position, and you guessed it, we're going to use an attribute for that. Let's copy the name from GeoNodes and paste it here. Nice. Now, add a mix node that will mix these two colors. So the first attribute here and the second one here. Usually, we won't need a gradient. So add another mix node and connect these like that. Use the last attribute as a factor. This Boolean will control it. Yeah, 
and you can download the project files from the link in the description if you don't want to move your ass and do it yourself.